even though you can get this unique weapon early on right at the start of the game in Starfield, I've seen a lot of people walk right past it. And not only is it easy to miss, but you can also get a more powerful version of it. So here's a guide on where to find it, how to mod it, and why it's so good against certain enemies. This unique weapon comes pre-modded with the best modifications for an extremely fast fire rate. But more importantly, its unique weapon effect deals incredible damage over time to your enemies. Firstly, you have the white hot ammunition mod, which are bullets tipped with phosphorus. So every single shot sets the enemy on fire. Now the fire effect does nine ticks of damage over eight seconds, which is 15% of the enemy's total health. This also stacks with the radiation weapon effect, which has a 8% chance to activate. And when it does, it will deal another 24% of the target's total health over six seconds. And the more health the enemy has, the more damage it will do. Take this Terramorph as an example. No matter what your character's level is, it will do the same amount of damage because it's based on the max percentage of the enemy health. Now, if the enemy is wearing armor with a high radiation resistance, it will do less damage to them. But radiation damage also has a chance to fear humans, demoralizing them, making them run away from you for several seconds, while also on fire and irradiated, dying a slow painful death and they can't fight back either. And considering how fast this weapon fires, you'll easily be able to apply all of these weapon effects at once, to deal ballistic damage and also 39% of the enemy's total health. So to grab this unique weapon for yourself, you need to travel directly west from the Alpha Centauri system where New Atlantis is. You're going to want to come here on the map to the Tau Ceti system. And then once you arrive, you're going to land on the planet called Tau Ceti II, located right here. On this planet, you will find the set location called the Tau Gourmet Production Center, which the main quest of the UC quest line will actually take you to. But you can also come here before it or even after that quest if you've already done it, just so you can pick up this weapon. After your ship lands on the planet, walk over this cliff and you'll find a giant abandoned factory with no enemies in it. You're going to want to head all the way around the facility on the right hand side until you reach the very back. Just follow where I go. But again, there's no enemies here and you don't need to do any quest to get this weapon. You can just come here and pick it up. Now, if you haven't already checked out our wiki, we've listed every single armor set, ship and weapon location in Starfield. I'll link it down below in the description, but you can also just scan this QR code and check it out on your mobile. We've made tables on the site so you can easily compare every single weapon and armor set in the game. If you guys have any feedback, just leave it in the comment section. We're always trying our best to improve it. It's really more of a passion project than a legitimate business idea. But right at the back of the facility, you're going to find these blue Tau shipping containers. If you actually hop on the fence here, you can then climb onto this one that's stacked at the top. You'll find that the ends are actually open and you can come inside. And inside this bright yellow weapon crate, you're going to find the unique pistol, the Radburn. Now, as you can see, this weapon does different amounts of damage depending on the level you are when you actually load into the planet for the first time. So at level one with no skills, the Radburn will only do seven damage and one energy damage which doesn't sound like a lot, but again, most of the damage you do with this weapon comes from the radiation and fire dot damage effects. But if you come here to get the Radburn at a higher level, or on New Game Plus, for example, you can see this Radburn now does 24 damage and one energy damage. And these characters have no combat skills affecting that damage. So it's the pure base damage of the Radburn unique weapon. Now, there are multiple weapon tiers of the Radburn, even though they have the exact same name. So to increase the chance for a higher tier weapon to spawn for you, you must simply load into the area for the first time at a high level. But if you followed my other guide on how to reach max level in your weapon engineering skill, which can be done under five minutes, I'll link it down below, well, you'll know that you can also do some funny modifications on this weapon. Starting out, adding the reflex sight optic will help you aim easier. And now, most importantly, we can change the muzzle for a suppressor for some real shenanigans. You see, you can actually set enemies on fire while you're also in stealth mode, which is just hilarious. Also, a quick tip, if you're playing Starfield and trying to play stealthily, the weight of your equipped armor and weapons will increase your chance of getting detected. So make sure you have extremely light armor or just clothing on if you don't want to get detected easily. But as you can see, I am killing this Terramorph slowly by just setting it on 
fire, and it has no idea where I'm hiding. You can also pair this with the chameleon armor effects, and it's just a bit of a silly way to play the game, but why not? We're obviously going to be keeping the white hot magazine modifications and the recon laser sight will improve our accuracy even further. The already applied hair trigger gives us a faster fire rate to apply the radioactive effect faster. Alternatively, you can get the high velocity mod which will boost your range and accuracy, but at the cost of a much lower fire rate. Also for that reason, you'll find the binary trigger is going to be your best option. But again, the semi-automatic receiver will increase your damage at the cost of a lower fire rate. Because again, all your damage is coming from the damage over time effects of the Radburn. But let's say instead you want to one hit kill all of your enemies instead of burning them to death slowly. Check out this next guide on how to get the strongest pistol in Starfield. And you can also get it right at the start of the game. 